Hey everyone, Nick White here, owner of Off Leash Canine Training. I'm joined by Joey Zitzelberger, Off Leash Canine Training Richmond. Um, what we're going to do today is, as you guys know, you see stories every single day on Facebook, you see them in the news. What's people doing when it gets hot? They're leaving their dogs and leaving their babies inside of a hot car because they're just running to the store really fast, right? The dog will be fine, you crack the windows, I'll be in and out. Um, so everyone tells you, I'm going to break your window, don't do it, but we're actually going to show you what it's like to actually be inside of a hot car for 30 plus minutes, replicating what's going through in your dog's mind, your child's mind. We have a, a timer, we have a temperature gauge, you can see the change of heat. Um, so we're really looking forward to doing this. Well, not really, but we are for education purposes. Um, we're wearing long sleeves and pants. It's 96 degrees out today. Um, we're wearing this to try to really make it as real as possible. Um, you know, a dog has fur, so as much as we'd have loved to wear a t-shirt and shorts, we chose to make it a little bit more lifelike and realistic. Um, and we're going to show you what it's like to spend 30 minutes inside of a vehicle that's been set in the direct sun, as you see, with just the windows cracked. Um, we're going to show you what, what it's like and kind of what's going on through our minds as we set it there. Ready to do it? Let's do it. All right, All right everyone. Nick White, Off Leash Canine, Joey Zitzelberger, Off Leash Canine, Richmond. We just got in the truck. Um, the truck is in direct sunlight. We just started our timer here. We're at about 10 seconds in so far. Already sweating. Already sweating. <laughs> we got our thermometer back here. It's about 100 degrees. And I do want to make a quick note that the thermometer is in the back seat, which is shaded right now. Uh, Nick and I are both in the direct sunlight from the windshield, so it's definitely a little bit hotter up here than it is back there. So probably in the last 10 minutes or so, we'll actually bring the thermometer up front so we can uh, we can kind of get a, a real feel temp of what uh, what Nick and I are feeling. Absolutely agree with that. Yeah. So we're sitting at right now. Uh, we're just under 10 minutes in. Um, uh, what do we got on here? It's reading at 104, 105 more. ish. So it's bouncing back between 104, 105. Um, like I said, in the last 10 minutes or so, we're gonna bump this thing up here. So give you an actual in feel. The direct sunlight actual feel or idea of what we are feeling right now so um it, it's still i guess bearable yeah but because i think part of that is i know there is a light at the end of the tunnel i know in 20 minutes you know i'm out Correct. here drinking water in 70 degrees you know a dog doesn't know that as nick was saying earlier which i couldn't imagine you know being in here and not knowing when i was going to get out um as I was saying, my anxiety would, would probably go to a level 10 and I would go into to straight panic mode. So, um, it's definitely hot though. I'm, I'm sweating, um, from head to toe pretty much right now. So, yeah. Joe and I knew we were going to do this for about the last week now, 
and I'd say in the last week on Facebook, I've probably tagged him in six to eight stories right. about dogs or babies being left in cars and getting killed or the windows getting busted out. Um, so literally about one a day that's just coming through my news feed that's making news and people are making stories about. So I would have to assume it's at least a five to ten time a day occurrence. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it, at least right now, I mean, we are just under 15 minutes in. Um, it's creeping up it's to, one, to 107. It's getting close. to 107 right now. Um, again, I'm maybe you can if I zoom in a little bit, you can you can just see the sweat glistening off my head right now. Um, I'm pretty much yeah. So we're about 15 minutes in almost. Yeah, pretty much soaked right now, but um, again you know we're able to sweat that's the beauty part Correct. of it dogs yeah. are not able to sweat you know their mechanism of of cooling themselves down is panting um which you know kind of works both ways makes you makes the dog cool down but also you know makes them warmer in the long run so um we're able to sweat you know the the water off of us um so that's one benefit that we have over a dog so I, I would say whatever we are feeling right now it's multiplied by at least 10 yeah uh, I would for say a easily. dog yeah if you so, have a, a long-haired dog I would say that'd be the equivalent of me having sweatpants on under these pants and probably a coat on uh, maybe a, a nice heavy coat on top of this as well so it easily raise the temperature I would say another 15 degrees on top of what we're feeling right now actually Again, they were probably prepared for that, Correct. hydrating, Correct. Um, you know, if not hours, days before they went into the sauna to make sure that, you know, Correct. You know, it, it was safe as possible. So, um, again, a dog doesn't have that luxury. So, no. Unfortunately, they cannot prepare for your stupidity. Agreed. As we could prepare for our stupidity. Looking at it right now, <laughs> we're already at 120. So we're at 120 inside the vehicle, about 20 minutes in. 21 minutes in, 120 degrees. Um, and again, it's not your typical 120, you know, Florida weather, real feel or whatever. It is still. There's Very no still. air movement whatsoever in this truck right I would now. the 130 mark if you can see that right there so we're 25 minutes in and we're teetering on 130 right now so I know with five minutes left all I can really think about right it's now five minutes out is is getting outside this yep. vehicle like all I want to do right now is open this handle get out of there you know even if it's, it's 95 degrees outside right now to me that feels like heaven um, I would love to be in 95 <laughs> exactly. right now. Um, so it's it, it's one of those unbearable things right now. I'm drenched head to foot. There's no doubt about it um, with sweat. So. Right now, I would have to assume right now panic is setting in your dog. He's barking ridiculous at the window. He's pawing. He's getting at the doors and windows, which as he's doing that as a cry for help, what's that also doing? 
It's raising it's, his body. It's making him hotter because he's essentially he's screaming and he's wrestling with the door and he's punching at the door. Uh, if me and Joe started screaming nonstop and punching at the door and ripping at the interior, that would easily probably add another 10 degrees on top of his winter coat, on top of his unknown factor of when am I getting out of here. So if I was a dog right now, I would really, really be panicked right yeah, now. Absolutely. absolutely. If, if they're still alive, to Correct. be completely honest yeah, with you. Yeah, if they're still alive at, at, at 28 minutes in, um, I would be panicked. Show you, we're at right around 132. So 132 degrees right now, which is ridiculous. Actually, we're almost close to 134 now that I look and it's not bouncing around. So we're almost 134 degrees. Of completely still air. 29 minutes in. So we've increased over a degree per minute so far. It's awful. I, I want to point something oh, yeah. out real quick. Our, our fingers are actually, I don't know if, if you can see that. Yeah, they can see it. This is HD, baby. Yeah, but they're wrinkled. It's almost as if we've been sitting in a bathtub. bathtub. That's how, if you can't see on this HD Sony 4K camera in high definition, how much we are sweating and how uh, much we're perspiring, look at my fingers. My fingers look like I just got out of a hot tub or a pool. I've been sweating so much, our fingers are actually wrinkling, like we've been sitting in a pool. You know how you get in the pool, your, your kid's in the bathtub for a long period of time as he's playing, you pull him out and he's all wrinkled. That's what my fingers are doing. My fingers are actually wrinkled from the, the perspiration that's been sitting on me for the last 32 minutes now. And right now, um, we're approaching 36 degrees. I think it just bounced when you moved it. So I'm, I'm. So you can see that right there. We're at 136 degrees. So an increase of 36 degrees since we first started this. And it's 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 difficult to breathe for me. Very stuffy. Very stuffy. Very hot. I think I'm ready to get out. Hot. Very. We're right at 138 right now. We'll wait till the end to show the thermometer the last minute or so. Um, we're right at 138 again. This thing caps off at 140, so. <sighs> We're setting right around the 138. So right at 138 right now is where we're sitting at. And in 15 seconds, we're both going to sling our doors open, and I'm sure the 95 degrees outside is going to feel like it's, it's gonna, 20. It's going to feel like a meat freezer when we open these doors. That's how great it's going to feel. Can you? Do you? It's hard to comprehend what a difference of 38 there degrees makes. Are we there? We're there. All right, I'm done talking. There's 40 right oh. there. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that feels amazing. All right, so as you see, I'm soaked. Um, 
I'm still lightheaded from getting out. It honestly feels. Oh, it feels like it's like 60 outside. It feels outside. like it's 60 yeah, degrees outside. Easily. This breeze feels so good. So easily. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hydrate right now, and uh, and I'm gonna flip it over to Nick so you can kind of see what he looks like and how he's feeling. So you can see. Look at this. You see the the outline, right? The water outline from sweat. That's how hot it is. It literally looks like I put my my knees, I dropped it down in the water. That's how hot it is. So the moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, don't leave your dogs in the car. No matter if you're gonna run in the gas station, pay for gas, and come back out, take your dog home and then do it. You're gonna forget. It's something you can't control. Um, so the moral of the story, take your dogs inside. Don't be stupid like the people we see in Facebook and YouTube. Don't be stupid like us and sit in here for 40 minutes. Um, and sit in here for 40 minutes. Use common sense, take care of your dogs, take care of your kids, take care of yourselves. You've heard it, Nick White, Joey Zitzelberger, Off Leash Canine Training. Peace out.